Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Cassandra. Today I have a review. I have a review on the newest scandal. So if you want to know what I think about John Paul Gutierrez new scandal, please continue to watch. Okay, we are back, y'all, and this is the beauty. Look at this packaging. The fragrance for John Paul Gutierre new fragrance is called So Scandal. And look, I love the packaging because this one feel like velvet and it's also a dark red a dark red color and right here it has those grooves so it's easy to open it up compared to the other one and there is the bottle y'all gorgeous gorgeous okay y'all look at this bottle it got grooves on it. Gorgeous, y'all. Simply gorgeous. And then it got on it the name. So Scandal. And look at our legs like we always have our legs up there. Our legs is silver. The uh, So Scandal is silver as well as the plate is silver. Okay. Oh, Take the top off which is heavy. Now, let's see what the spray looks like. Did y'all see that spray? Did y'all? Woo! And I can already smell it. Mmm! Oh! At first, spray like i told you i already smell it guess what i smell y'all raspberry yes raspberry and tuberose those are the two potent notes i smell already gorgeous y'all and you know what else it's nothing like the honey you know how i love the scandals because of that honey note i think i got a new note now this raspberry, mm. Oh, it smells so good, y'all. Oh, let's dry down some, y'all. Because that tuberose and that raspberry, it is doing its thing in this fragrance. Oh. This is delicious and sweet, y'all. This fragrance is delicious and sweet, y'all. Ain't no joke. This more like a gourmand fragrance because of the raspberry. Oh, y'all. This is delicious. Now that it's drying down, guess what I smell? Yes, y'all know, jasmine. I smell jasmine and also it seemed to be milky. The dry down is making this fragrance a little milky, a little creamy. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. So the milk and the jasmine and the tuberose, they getting together, they stirring and carrying on. That's where the creaminess is coming from. It is so creamy, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. This is a perfectly fruity, flowery, smooth, creamy, milky fragrance, y'all. 
Mm. And I love it. I love this. Now, I wore this for a couple days. I think I wore maybe, I wore this maybe three days in a row. And I'm here to tell y'all, y'all, the longevity wasn't long because it was like not four hours, yeah, before I had to spray again. But when I wore it the second day, it was a beast. And the reason it was a beast was because I sprayed my clothes and I put down some lotion, some raspberry scent lotion, and then I sprayed this so scandal. Shut the door. Shut the door. Child, this was on another level. Another level. Now, the sea arch was light also. Maybe when you're in the room with somebody, it may be arm's length. They got to come a little closer to you to really smell it. But, child, like I said, if you sprayed on your clothes and put down some some kind of lotion with it and then spray now i must say this was not what i thought it was gonna be it's not i mean i was just assuming it was gonna be another honey fragrance but i like this i really do i don't just like it i love this i'm glad john paul um stirred up the pot and did it totally different this time that's right, forget about the honey. Let's try something else. And that raspberry was great. And it also had orange blossom in it. Y'all, this is a gorgeous scent. I'm not lying. All the fragrance that I got in my house and that I do reviews on, I purchased with my own money. Ain't nobody giving me nothing to say what I have to say. John Paul don't know me from nobody else, but I'm telling y'all, this is gorgeous. They will smell you. Yes, they will. Mm. Cause other than that, it will be on your skin. It the scent will be close to your skin. And also, this fragrance. You can wear day, night, fall, winter, spring. I wouldn't wear it in summer because I think it'll be too, too hot then. But definitely, day or night, fall, winter, spring. So let's go ahead on and rate this fragrance. On a scale from one to five, the presentation of the bottle, I'm giving it a five. On a scale from one to five, the bottle, I'm giving it a five. On a scale from one to five, the juice inside this bottle, I'm giving it a five. On a scale from one to five, the sillage, the longevity, I would give it a three. Because like I said, it, it doesn't last. But once you do everything I told you to do, then it would be beast mode and it will be a five. But just for this video, let's just say we just sprayed it and that's it. We didn't put it all on our clothes and we didn't put down some lotion or nothing. I would give it a three. The spray on this bottle, I give it a four. So, my overall number for this fragrance is a four. Simply gorgeous, y'all. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So comment in the bottom section of this video and let me know, do you have this fragrance? Do you have any of John Paul Gucci Air fragrances so far as the scandal line is concerned? Comment and let me know and tell me what you think about them. Other than that, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. All my videos. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.